What's up and welcome back to the channel. You guys have been asking and asking and again, we're back with another tier list video. Now I know I said I would do these every single week and I've been lacking a little bit. It's been what, like three weeks since my last tier list, but I'm back with a good one today. So with the playoffs being less than a week away, I thought it would be fun to go through the five tiers that I have here, ranking every team's chance to win the Stanley Cup. Now at the top, we have the best chance. This is where I'm gonna put one team from the East, one team from the West, and those are gonna be my two teams to make the Stanley Cup finals. Then we have the very likely tier teams that will very likely make the Stanley Cup playoffs and finals and it wouldn't really shock you. Then the unlikely tier, the opposite of the one I just explained. Then we have the not out but would be pretty shocking. This is for teams competing for those wild card spots or just teams that nobody really has winning the Stanley Cup this year. But if they did, it would really shock the world. Then of course we have the out tier. This is the tier that, well, teams that are just out of the playoffs. Now before we get started today, I post daily NHL and hockey related content. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do that now and let's get right into it now the first team on my list the ottawa senators they're out currently they have no chance to make the playoffs this team has really fallen short of expectations in my opinion this year they had the roster to make the playoffs i expected them to make that jump but i'm gonna give them a little bit of a pass this season they dealt with the shane pinto thing the coaching changes the ownership changes I think were this year too. It just has been a long season for the Senators. They're out of the playoffs. They have no chance to make the Stanley Cup Finals. So that's where we're gonna put them. Next up, Tampa Bay Lightning, the wild card one in the Eastern Conference. It's likely that they're either gonna play Boston or Florida. And I don't think I like their chances in either of those series. I know people are sort of down on Boston, but I just feel like Tampa's been through way too many deep playoff runs and they don't really have it in them anymore. I know Kucherov's playing out of his mind right now. I know this team does have a great roster, but unfortunately I have them in the unlikely tier. I could see them doing maybe a first round upset, but after that, once they start playing teams like Florida or potentially, I don't know who's the other top dogs in the East right now, Carolina, New York, I just don't see them beating those teams. I. I know it might sound crazy, but I'm kind of down on Tampa this year, and that's going to lead to my next team, the Seattle Kraken, another team that I've been down on all season long. The Kraken, to me, I feel like last year was their fluke year, not this season. I feel like this roster just doesn't have enough stars to really push them through a playoff run. They have some nice pieces and some good young prospects. Shane Wright's finally coming up to play for the team, but outside of that, the Kraken just don't do it for me, man. I think this team is just not gonna even be sniffing a Stanley Cup Finals for the next five years. If even that, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know, but they're out right now, they're not making the playoffs, so we're gonna put them in the out tier as well. Next up, the Toronto Maple Leafs. This one is juicy, okay? I'm actually pretty high on the Maple Leafs, and I know people might be like, oh, you're scared of Leaf fans, blah, blah, blah. No, listen. The Leafs have a very good roster and their goaltending has actually been pretty good lately. But right now, I actually have the Maple Leafs in the very likely tier. I think if their offense can continue cooking and this team can kind of rally around the 70 goal season that Austin Matthews has had, it's going to have to be high scoring games for the Leafs. They can't ride their defense because that's not their strong suit, but I have them in the very likely tier. Next up, the New York Islanders, a team that's actually kind of surprising me that they're even in the playoffs right now i think they're at 89 points they just took a loss to the rangers the other day which is kind of brutal to their chances but i have the islanders in the not out but would be shocking tier i actually don't even know if they're going to make the playoffs but if they do they're going to play i think carolina in the first round which that's not a fun matchup that's not a good one that you want to face carolina's going to dominate them so it's kind of at this point where do you even want to make the playoffs if you're an islanders fan I'm not too sure, but for me, they're in the not out, but would be shocking if they made the playoffs and then actually won the Stanley Cup. That would just be insane. Next up, the Boston Bruins. This is a team that I know a lot of people are down on. I'm sure a lot of people would have them in the unlikely tier. They are said to not have great centers, even though their top two centers this year have outperformed their top two centers from last year, their historic season. I love their defense and you can't go wrong with that goaltending duo. If they can just ride their successful goaltending tandem, I see them very likely winning the Stanley Cup. They're not my favorite team, though. I'm going to have them in the same tier as the Leafs. I feel like those two teams are about on par with each other. Next up is the Dallas Stars. And if you guys have been watching this channel for a while now, you'll know that I'm very high on Dallas. This is my team from the start of the year. I just love everything about them. Their forward group is incredibly deep. They keep finding these amazing players in their farm system. And adding Tanev really was the last piece I felt that this team needed to actually go for a deep cup run. So I have Dallas in the best from the West. I think they just took over the Central. They're going to have that 
that top spot. And I think their first round playoff matchup might be Vegas. So if they can beat Vegas in the first round, there's no stopping this team in my opinion. Next up, maybe the greatest story of the NHL hockey season, the Pittsburgh Penguins. They are competing for that wild card spot. And if they don't make it, that's gonna be very upsetting. Right now, I have to put the Penguins in the same category as the Islanders. Even if they do make it, I just don't think this team has enough to go deep, but you never know. When you have Crosby on your side, the way he's playing, anything's possible. I really hope that the Penguins can make the playoffs this year. I just think it would be very exciting, and a first-round matchup between them and the Rangers would be great for the league, but I have them in the not out, but would be very shocking if they actually won the cup this year. Next up, the Edmonton Oilers, a spicy team. I have them in the very likely tier. Since I have Dallas in the best chance, I think they have a better all-around roster than the Oilers, but don't get me wrong. I think the Oilers are a very good and complete team this season. They're finally getting good goaltending from Stuart Skinner. Their defense is stepping up, and of course, their offense with McDavid, Dry, Sutto, and the surgeons of Zach Hyman. They're going to go deep in the playoffs. I think for them, it's going to be very matchup dependent. I think right now they're playing the LA Kings. That's going to be a tough series for them, but I have them in the very likely tier. I think that if they won, nobody would be surprised, but I do think Dallas has the edge over them. Next up, St. Louis Blues. They are at this point out. Yeah, I had a little bit of higher hopes for the Blues this year. I thought they would go deeper, but some of their top stars like Kyrou just haven't really been performing well. Good thing for Blues fans, though, you have a nice player in Robert Thomas. Jordan Bennington is looking like he's a starter again. So they're going to be an average team for maybe two, three years, and then I could see them being back in playoff contention after that. Next up, the Anaheim Ducks. The Ducks, to me, they have a great future. They're not trying to win right now. I think Cutter Gauthier just signed to a three-year entry-level deal. Their forward group looks great. Zegers is going to be healthy next year, and I just think this team didn't want to win this year. They'll get a high draft pick, and they'll be coming back in the next few years to hopefully be a better, stronger, young build team. Next up, Montreal Canadiens, exactly like the Ducks. They had no hopes to win this year they weren't trying to make the playoffs they're currently rebuilding i think a good thing for them is slavkovsky's look great cole caulfield's look pretty good this year after his injury and nick suzuki is just a fantastic player for that team uh just keep building up your defense montreal work on your goaltending and uh, i think in the future you guys are going to be good again but for right now out of the playoffs not good uh next one kind of a spicy one the arizona coyotes they are actually not going to be in arizona next season they are moving to utah but the coyotes not making the playoffs this year they had a good start a lot of promise logan cooley clayton keller but the utah coyotes i guess next year they're out of the playoffs this year and we'll see how they bounce back in the uh, next upcoming seasons um, next team, Detroit Red Wings, another team competing for that wild card spot. I have them in that same category as the Islanders and Penguins. They're not out, but it would be pretty shocking if they actually won the cup this year. To start the season, the Red Wings had a lot of promise. Debrinkit looked really good with Larkin. The two of them seem to be connecting. And future-wise, Patrick Kane's not going to be doing this forever. And who knows if he's going to be with the Red Wings next year. So this is a dicey season for them, solely focusing on their playoff run this year. They're not out, but it would be very, very shocking if they won the Stanley Cup. Next up, we have the Calgary Flames, another team that's just out. Very disappointing year for the Calgary Flames. This was kind of their last crack with this core that they have, the Kadri Huberto experience. They traded away Hannafin, traded away Tanev, traded away Lindholm. If they do kind of figure out the Huberto and Kadri thing, great, but I just don't really have a lot of hope for that. Next up, the Minnesota Wild. This one upset me. I think at this point they're out. They don't really have a chance. I was really hoping they could make that final push. I love what this team is building. They'll figure out their cap situation. They have a lot of promise. Right now, they're not making the Stanley Cup playoffs, but they'll be back next year. Don't count them out. Next up, the Colorado Avalanche. I have them in the very likely tier. You can't count out Nathan McKinnon's amazing MVP run this year. Miko Rantanen looking fantastic and continuing to be one of the more underrated players in the NHL. The only thing that really worries me about this team is their goaltending. Georgiev has been a bit stagnant all season, and they really haven't had a backup to help him out in the crease. But if Georgiev can kind of step it up, play well in the playoffs for the Avs, I could see them making a deep run. I think their first round matchup is against the Winnipeg Jets, who just put a beat down on them 7-0. So that'll be an interesting series. I could see them winning the cup, but I could also see them be a first round exit depending on how their goaltending goes. So I'll put them in the very likely tier. I do think they have a good chance, but we'll have to just see how it goes. Next up, the Vegas Golden Knights. Mark Stone is back. You have Thomas Hurdle now. This team locks up Noah Hannafin. It's, it's just crazy how this team has had this workout. Mark Stone's coming back from the dead this season to play in the first game like anyone was really going to be surprised by that. Of course, Vegas has a good chance. They're well rested. This team hasn't really met the expectations of the season so far, but their first round matchup is going to be tough. You don't really want to meet Dallas in the first round. So if that's who they end up playing, 
look out Vegas. You could be seeing yourself at a first round bounce, but if they beat the stars, man, they might be my team to go all the way this year. That's how good they are. New Jersey Devils talk about disappointment. This was my team to reach the Stanley Cup Finals this year. I was very high on the Devils. Their top six at the beginning of the year was fantastic, but unfortunately, they just never figured out their goaltending situation, and that's been the death of this team. The Dougie Hamilton injury was tough, but don't worry, New Jersey fans. You have a lot to look forward to. Jack Hughes is still young on that great contract. Luke Hughes is looking great. Simon Nemec has looked great. I just think that this team has a lot of... Uh, promise for the next couple years get yourself a goaltender in the offseason and come back stronger next year next up the washington capitals this is a team that is just completely shocking to me they had the worst start from alex ovechkin in his career they looked completely dead about two months ago and now they're competing for a wild card spot i don't think i have them making the playoffs but they're currently not out so i can't put them lower than these other teams it would really really shock me if this washington capitals team even won one first round series. I would be surprised if they won one game in their first round series. This team, they're playing way above expectations, but I have to put them in this tier. Props to the Capitals for staying alive this long. Next up, we have the Carolina Hurricanes. Now I was gonna have them in my best tier, but I have one team who I think is a little bit better than them. But the Hurricanes, they've looked great since the trade deadline. I think they added two pieces that they really, really needed this year in Gensel and Kuznetsov. They have a great defense. Freddie Anderson has been fantastic since coming back from his injury. That story alone is just inspiring enough to have you really have this team on a high pedestal. I think the Hurricanes are very likely to win. Again, matchup dependent for them. If they can find a team that's slower and they can use their defense to their advantage, I think that's where the Hurricanes thrive. But recently they've been putting pucks in the net. So don't count out the Hurricanes. I have them in very likely this year. Next up, the San Jose Sharks. I'm just going to be short there in a full rebuild. They don't really need to be talked about too much. They've been out of the playoffs since the start of the year, but promising future for the Sharks. You have some nice young prospects coming up through your system. So just wait a few years, Sharks fan. You'll be back in the playoffs in no time. Next up, the Buffalo Sabres. They're out. Ugh, I really wanted the Sabres to make it this year, but some players just kind of haven't really lived up to what they were doing last year. Tage Thompson had a very slow season. The goaltending's been a little bit dicey, but the future of that should be good with Pekka Lukanen playing pretty well at the end of the season. Buffalo's out. Again, same like the Devils. Just kind of take this one on the chin. It wasn't exactly what you were hoping, but you have a good few years coming up, especially with that Bowen Byron pickup. I think you guys are going to be good in maybe two, three years. You'll be competing for a Stanley Cup, not just back in the playoffs. Next up, the Nashville Predators. This one's kind of crazy to me. I have them in the unlikely tier. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that the Predators really have shocked the entire world I had them missing playoffs I just thought this team was dead in the water after getting rid of some of their best players but man they've looked really good they went on a hot streak but I think maybe they went on the hot streak a little bit too early if you know what I mean now they're kind of slowing down they're entering the playoffs they're gonna have a tough matchup I think they're gonna be playing a team like Vancouver potentially and I just think Vancouver's gonna put a beat down on them if they meet in the playoffs I have them in the unlikely tier but it really wouldn't be that shocking to me if they went deep this year I have them as kind of that spunky team that has a lot of motivation so I'm putting them in the unlikely tier but don't get me wrong I think they're a pretty good roster this season next up the Columbus Blue Jackets jackets it's tough when you're trying to be good and you end up being just terrible for me the blue jackets they're not on the same page as like the ducks and the blackhawks because you know the ducks and blackhawks are trying to be bad if you look at the blue jackets roster they have players that are good now and i think they were trying to compete they beef up their blue line they have guys like Gaudreau and line who have just really become ghosts since coming to columbus it's tough for that team obviously they have a good future with fantilly ken johnson and the boys over there but yeah, this season they're out and they were out by a mile. So tough year for Columbus. Hopefully they can bounce back. The start of their year wasn't great with the Babcock situation. So maybe next year they'll have a little bit more consistency and this team can grow a bit further becoming a playoff team again. Chicago Blackhawks, same as the Blue Jackets. They're not going to make it. Bright spot, they have Bedsy and they could potentially get Celebrini. But who knows? This year nobody expected them to make playoffs and they kind of landed exactly where we thought. Bedards look great though. So that's a bright spot for Chicago fans. Next up, the Florida Panthers, and I think you guys might have them in the best tier, but I actually have them in the very likely tier. I was high on the Panthers right after the deadline. I loved the acquisitions that they made. I thought that Tarasenko was going to be kind of the best pickup of the deadline or most underrated, if you will. But yeah, recently they just haven't been playing too well. I think they were like three and seven in their last 10 last time I checked, but 
I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Panthers made a deep run with guys like Matthew Kachuk and the spunk that that team has. They might just shock me again and go deep and reach the finals with Vegas. Who knows? But I have them in the very likely tier. Again, matchup dependent for this team. I think they're good and they have a really good chance to win the cup this year. Next up, the Vancouver Canucks. I actually have them in the very likely tier as well. For me, the Canucks have been one of those teams that have been polarizing all year. I feel like some people really are high on the Canucks while other people are still stuck on the fact that they didn't make playoffs last year. And Besser's been great this year. JT Miller's having a fantastic season. Elias Pettersson and Quinn Hughes look dominant. You lock down Pedersen this season. And I think if you're meeting teams like Nashville in the first round, it'll help you get your footing. The Canucks are very likely to win the cup this year. They've looked dominant all year. And with Thatcher Demko back, look out, this team's going to be dangerous. Next up, the New York Rangers. And this is the team that I have in the best from the East. The Rangers have looked so good lately. This team is just dominant in every zone of the ice. Offensively, they have great young stars. Defensively with Fox, Truba, Keandre Miller, just amazing, strong defense. The Rempe Surgeons, I guess, making them a little bit more tough. And then Igor Shosturkin, since the All-Star break, has just been a complete unit. That save the other night on Barzell was just gross. I have them in the best chance. For me, my Stanley Cup Finals this year is the Rangers versus the Stars. We'll see how that goes, but that's where I have it at this point. Next up, Philadelphia. I'm surprised they're still in the race, but I have to put them in the not out, but would be shocking. They are just one of those teams that I did not expect this at all. I'm very happy that you're seeing this step from them. I love some of their players. I love Tortorella and what he's getting from this roster. They're not out, but it would be very shocking if they even made the playoffs, in my opinion. Next up, the LA Kings. This team has been very disappointing, I want to say. Um, they were great to start the year, and then they went on this like complete path of self-destruction they just couldn't get out of their own way the kings look kind of soft right now and if they have to play the oilers in their first round series i don't see anybody really picking them maybe the kings can upset them maybe they finally will crack it in the third time around but i see them as an unlikely team I'm surprised they're even at where they are right now in their standings. They're just not impressing me lately, but they do have the roster to do it. So if they can kind of just turn it on and become a good team, look out for them. But at the same time, I don't really trust them. Last team here, Winnipeg Jets. I see them as very likely. I know some people might have the Jets in a more, what would you call it? Like a uh, fraudulent tier. I guess, but I actually think this team is great, especially from what I saw against Colorado the other night. I can see that this team has the offensive capabilities to compete with some of the top dogs in the West. I really like their offense right now. Hellebuck is playing his best season of hockey yet, and some of their defensive players have really just become better this year. So to me, I see the Jets going deep. Again, they might be a matchup dependent team if they find a team that can kind of just like slow down Hellebuck and score a lot of pucks. I'm not sure if the Jets can keep up, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But this is my tier list right here for every NHL team's chance to win the Stanley Cup this year. Drop a comment for which team you think might be too high or too low and who you have competing in the Stanley Cup finals this season. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment some more tier list ideas you guys would like to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.